today's episode, we remember nationalist Chetur Sankaran Nair, who was born on the 11th of July 1857 in Mankara, Palakkar district on the Malabar coast. A lawyer by profession, Nair presided over the first provincial conference in Madras in 1897. In the same year, during the annual session of the Indian National Congress at Amravati, Nair gave the presidential address. Nair referred to the high-handedness of the foreign administration, called for reforms and asked for self-government for India. In 1900, Nair was elected a member of the Madras Legislative Council. In 1908, he became a permanent judge in the High Court of Madras and held the post till 1915. He was knighted in 1912 and became a member of the Viceroy's Council in 1915 with charge of the education portfolio. In 1919, as member, he wrote two famous merits of dissent in the dispatches on Indian constitutional reforms, pointing out the various defects of British rule in India and suggesting reforms. For an Indian to offer such criticism. and make such demands was incredible in those days the british government accepted most of his recommendation in 1928 he was the president of the indian central committee to cooperate with the simon commission the committee prepared a well argued report asking for dominion status for india when the vice regal announcement granting dominion status as the ultimate goal for india came nair retired from active politics Nair was a patriot who worked for the welfare of his people till his death on the 24th of April 1934. We also remember freedom fighter Baba Kanshi Ram who was born on the 11th of July 1882 in district Kangra Himachal Pradesh. He preached the message of Mahatma Gandhi to the nation and composed songs and poems in Pahari language to inspire the youths to join the freedom struggle. Kashi Ram was fond of music and poetry and he started to write songs and poems in Pahari language from an early age. He went to Lahore for employment where young Kashi came in contact with freedom fighters. Kashi developed good relations with well-known freedom fighters including Sardar Ajit Singh, uncle of Bhagat Singh, Lala Hardeyal and Lala Lajpat Rai. He witnessed the Jallianwala Bagh massacre in 1919 and jumped into the freedom struggle wholeheartedly. Kashi Ram was arrested in his village Daba Siba in 1920 and was lodged in Dharamshala jail with Lala Lajpat Rai. After his release in 1922 he moved again to Lahore and participated in the session of the Indian National Congress at Lahore in 1929 which declared independence to be the goal of the Indian struggle The British again put Kashi Ram behind the bars for his famous poem Angrez Sarkar da Tigga par Dhyare The British government is on her last legs Between 1930 and 1942, Kashi Ram was arrested nine times by the British. Sarojini Naidu called him the Bulbule Pahar, the Nightingale of the Hills. During the last days of his life, he undertook a vow to wear black clothes till India attained freedom. The black clothes remained with him till the last day of his life on the 15th of October 1943. 